In today's video, I'm going to discuss an important topic, but often overlooked, dark stools or melana. If you notice you're having black starry stools, this could be a sign of something worrisome going on inside your GI tract. We'll discuss exactly what causes dark stools. We'll discuss when you should be concerned about dark stools. We'll discuss what happens at the doctor visit whenever you talk about dark stools. And then we'll talk about how I approach somebody when it comes to dark stools as a Mayo Clinic trained GI doctor. Guys, let's literally talk about poop. Howdy, I'm Dr. Islam. I'm a board certified gastroenterologist trained at the Mayo Clinic. I have over 10 years of treating patients with all sorts of GI issues successfully with the protocols that we have in our practice. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. So what exactly are dark stools? Let me tell you exactly what I mean by this. So I don't mean having dark brown stools or other colors. I'm talking about black stools, especially tarry stools. This is my definition of black stools. Now the name for this is called melana. And there are a couple different reasons why you may be having melana stools. Some are benign and harmless. So for example, iron. If you take iron supplementation, the natural part of iron is that it's going to turn your stools black and that is normal, not a big deal. Another harmless reason for you to have black stools is taking Pepto-Bismol. The metabolism of Pepto-Bismol can also turn your stools black. Not a problem whatsoever. It specifically is bismuth in the Pepto-Bismol that turns your stool black. Now certain foods can also turn your stool black. Not a big deal. For example, black licorice. Your stools will become black because you ate something black. Blueberries, even beets, sometimes can change the color of your stool to make it more bloody-like or black-looking. But what I worry about is a GI bleed. So bleeding in your upper GI tract from an ulcer in the stomach with a small tender or even esophagus can also turn your stools black. Why is that the case? When blood mixes with acid, the metabolism and oxidation of that can turn your stools black and become tarry as well. So if you don't have foods that have black in them, if you're not taking Pepto-Bismol, if you're taking iron and you're not taking iron supplementation and your stools are black and they're tarry, 100% I worry about a GI bleed or an ulcer that's bleeding inside your upper GI tract. So when should you be concerned that your stools are black? Well, if it's black and tarry, you need to be concerned because that is not normal. The, there are very, very limited things that can cause black tarry stools, and this includes a bleeding ulcer. So for example, eating licorice will not turn your stool tarry. Taking Pepto-Bismol will not make your stools tarry, but having a bleeding ulcer will make it tarry and black. So if you're having that, don't ignore that. Number two, you have symptoms of epigastric pain or pain in your upper GI tract. That for me is a telltale sign of a bleeding ulcer. So if you combine that pain with having black stools, that is something to not ignore. If you have dizziness and fainting with black stools, I am concerned that you're losing blood and you're becoming anemic. So I'll tell you a story of a patient of mine. I had a patient that was taking a pain medication for headaches and all of a sudden he started to develop black stools but he also became very weak and dizzy and he went to the emergency room his hemoglobin from a normal 14 was seven he lost half his blood because he was taking pain medication he became dizzy and tired so if you're feeling fatigued tired you're having chest pain shortness of breath you're having these symptoms with black stools this should not be ignored you need to find out what's going on so like i mentioned before if you're feeling fatigued or weak and you're having these symptoms, don't ignore that, especially if it's combined with black stools. And then lastly, you have black stools and all of a sudden they turn red. That is an emergency because what that tells me is that the dam has broken open and you have a big bleeding ulcer that's so vigorous in bleeding that it doesn't have time to oxidize. It's just coming out as red. And this is something do not ignore that you need to get help immediately. So what happens when you see the doctor? Well, the first thing we're going to do is just see how you're doing. We'll ask these questions. Do you take any anti-inflammatory medications, Aleve, Naproxen, Advil, Motrin? Because these are the common risk factors for developing ulcer. Are you on a blood thinner? Do you take aspirin? These are also risk factors when it comes to an ulcer. Do you take steroids, which is another risk factor for developing an ulcer? We'll ask how are you doing? Are you feeling tired, fatigued? Do you have chest pain? Do you have shortness of breath? Because these are signs for me that you actually are anemic and your blood count is low. 
We'll do a basic physical exam. We'll check for your skin to see if you look pale. We actually may even do a rectal exam to see if we can test it for blood. Now certainly we'll do blood testing. I may check you for H. pylori, which is another common cause of developing an ulcer. I check to see how your blood count is. So we'll do a CBC to see if you're anemic or not. I may check what's called the BUN. A BUN is technically a marker for how your kidneys are, but it can also be a sign if you're bleeding in the upper GI tract. Your BUN will be higher than normal. I may check some stool testing and see if there's any blood in there. But certainly, I'm going to recommend an upper endoscopy or an EGD. This is where we use a very small camera, we put you to sleep, and I can take a look in the upper GI tract to see exactly what's going on. Because I want to find out why you're having black stools. The most common cause is an ulcer or bleeding source in the upper GI tract. And with an upper endoscopy, I can see exactly what's going on get that taken care of you and find out what we can do to figure out and hopefully get down to the root cause of why you're having the black stools. Now the good news is that most cases of developing melanin or black stools is treatable. Here's how I treat it as a Mayo Clinic trained GI doctor. So number one, I try to eliminate the root cause of why you have it. Are you, do you take NSAIDs, Aleve, Naproxen, Advil, Motrin? I'll stop that. Are you on a blood thinner? Do we need to change your blood thinner? Or maybe get you off of that. Do you take aspirin? We may want to consider stopping that. Do you have an infection called H. pylori, which is also a very common cause for ulcers? I may treat that and get that taken care of for you. Number two, I will put you on an acid medication, a PPI. PPIs are safe and they need to be used in instances like this, because if you have an ulcer, PPIs are the best way to treat this and to get this cured and to prevent it from getting worse. Number three, I may want to consider changing your diet. I may put you in a more bland diet or a high fiber diet to minimize the stress going on inside your gut. The next, if you're anemic, I may want to consider putting you on iron supplements. So keep in mind, if we do that, your stools will still be black, but it won't be tarry. But this is my approach that I take when it comes to treating patients who have melanoma. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Melanoma can be a scary thing. And if you're having this issue, I wanna make sure you speak to your doctor immediately so we can find out what's going on and get you taken care of. But thank you for watching. Let me in the comments down below if you have any questions about this particular entity. And if you want to learn more about what you can do to help out with your GI tract, consider subscribing to my channel. We can get more information on what we can do to get you feeling better. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys on future videos.